Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore. You know a hot sauce doesn't always have to have a lot of ingredients to make it flavorful. In other words, it doesn't always have to have garlic and carrots and onions and sugar and uh, all different types of spices to really give it some flavor. Some of the best hot sauces that I enjoy are the very simple ones, a good vinegar-based pepper sauce. And if it's done right, like this one I'm going to be reviewing today, you can get a lot of flavor from just uh, vinegar, peppers, and salt. And uh, this is a really good one today. This is another one from the Monkey Spit Hot Sauce Company. And this one is their hottest one. This is called Atomic Monk. Now, just love the caricatures that they have there with these monkeys. Uh, this one is called Uncle Monk. It looks like he wants you. So this is their uh, specialty sauce. It says it's stupid hot. They've got a saying on here, when no one else will burn you, we will. Now make sure you check out my first review that I did for their original Monkey Spit Hot Sauce. Get a little bit more information on the uh, company and Mr. Paul Smith and his team who sent me their uh, lineup of sauces. It says here that it's made in the USA. Atomic Monk is a blended Serrano and habanero sauce. It won't take you to the point of no return, but you can see from here, stupid hot. Where's your monkey? All right. Now they're located in uh, Santa Maria, California. So I think their specialty is really focusing on serrano peppers and habanero peppers. And Paul, I'll just go ahead and say it now. I'd love to see what you could do with some other peppers like maybe butchaloki or scorpion peppers. So that would be awesome. Sodium is very low, and that's another thing I look at on these type of hot sauces. Sodium is only 24 milligrams, so that's just perfect. Ingredients uh, is just distilled vinegar, serrano peppers, habanero peppers, and salt. That is it. So just check out the color on this one, guys. Uh, you can tell that it's a blended sauce. So uh, um, I think the original one, uh, he strained the... Uh, serrano peppers so this is more blended so you're going to actually see maybe some very small pieces of the pulp from the peppers in here there's no other ingredients in here other than peppers vinegar and salt so what you see there is definitely from the peppers all right well, let's go ahead and check out the aroma on this one wow now you get the tartness from the vinegar i like that about it but really, you get a blast of uh, fresh serrano and habanero peppers. You can smell them both. Just a gorgeous aroma of just fresh peppers. It's not too vinegary. It's not a nasty vinegary smell or anything like that. But you do get the, the, uh, the tart vinegar aroma. Just perfect. Not overly done. But just really smelling strong peppers. That's it. You're not smelling garlic or spices or anything like that. Just the uh, aroma of serrano, and you can pick up the uh, that that spicy, that little bit more of a citrus um, from the uh, habanero. But really, really smells good. Okay, well, let's get this on a spoon. Show you guys. Look at this. How this pours. Just perfect. All right. Mm. Wow, amazing. <clears throat> it's pretty spicy. It caught me the wrong way a little bit. It is pretty spicy because you definitely can taste those habanero peppers in there. You get the, get that more of that, um, that bite, that citrus, slight fruity bite from the, the habaneros. You get that green serrano flavor as well. You get a nice um, tart uh, vinegar uh, uh, you know, flavor, not overly done at all, and it's not too salty, of course, but just focuses on the flavor of those two peppers. You can taste them both. It's really, really good. Uh, great job on this, guys. Um, now, if you love a green sauce, you, you love a simple sauce, you love a vinegar-based pepper sauce that's done right and it's not too salty, then this is definitely a winner. Uh, let me show you what I did with this, guys. Uh, on uh, Cinco de Mayo, I put this on top of a chicken enchilado topped with some pico de gallo and sour cream. Had some Mexican rice and poured this sauce on there and it was just awesome. So uh, great sauce. Uh, it's great on eggs in the morning, burritos, tacos, anything like that. It would just be a good table sauce. Uh, so on flavor, I'm going to give this a strong 9 out of 10. This is very, very well done. 
9 out of 10 for flavor. And on heat, um, I think I would go with, you know, some, I'm thinking the 4 to 5 category. Um, I think I'll go with a 5 out of 10 on this one because it's got a pretty good strong burn. Uh, to me, it's not stupid hot, uh, but uh, my tolerance is pretty high. So a uh, good medium sauce, maybe slightly lower than medium, but I'll, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 for heat. But uh, great job on this, Paul. A really, really good job. And everybody check them out on Facebook. Give them a like. They've got some novelty looking uh, labels, uh, but they've got some really gourmet tasting hot sauce that's inside these bottles. So great job. And the website simply is monkeyspithotsauce.com. Link will be down in the description. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Stay tuned for a couple more reviews from Monkey Spit. And until the next time, enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.